Did you know that visas are up for grabs here in the United States for wealthy foreigners willing to invest that $500,000 minimum into American businesses? Now, the EB-5 Immigrant Investor Program, it rubber stamps visas for those willing to plunk down the cash. It was a rarely used path before to citizenship, only 346 issued in 2005. But now it's a popular way foreign investors are gaining entry, particularly using hotel and real estate projects. There were 13,000 applications as of April of this year for EB-5s, prompting the State Department to close the application process until next year. Jose, we're being flooded, 13,000, I mean up from 346 in 2005. And it's, it's tragic to me that only foreign investors can do this. I mean, I wish Americans were wealthier. I mean, the, the reality is that I like this story because it shows how broad the immigration debate really is. Most of the people would like to think that it boils down just to a bilateral issue in between Mexico and the U.S. The reality is that it has several layers and it's really complicated. This one, it's a clear example of how the U.S. welcomes rich people into their country. And at the same time, in a, in a, in a different um, issue, we have also corporations abusing the immigration system, like recently Google and Microsoft find themselves under the fire because plans were revealed that they were trying to lay off American workers and replace them with H-1B visa workers from abroad at half the, the pay. So right. immediately there, there were concerns about it, but we see that the immigration system in this country is broken, not only at the border, also, at the way we conceive how many people are allowed to come in and work or do business. Right. Well, these EB-5s, they're, they're different from the HB-1s, but I get your point totally. These specific visas, they're for financially viable people. They're being rubber stamped on through. And those people that are considered to be in a violation of the public trust, i.e. they're taking social services when they get here, it's, it's a lot harder, more complicated process, that's for sure. But in, I just want to get you this quote because you can see the numbers. They start climbing. In 2011, 3,340 visas were issued in this program. That's according to the EB-5 Investment Coalition. They're a trade group. Now, the number jumped to 6,628 in 2012, then 8,543, 8,543 in 2013. Last year was a record 10,692 EB visas. They were issued. That's according to the Washington Post article. Jonathan O'Connell, he wrote that. And you can see the steady number. They keep rising every year. They had to shut down the program in April. Yeah, say I mean, no more. it goes to show that there's wealthy individuals around the world. There's a lot of people coming from Middle East, a lot of people coming from China with deep pockets. The idea behind these visas is they actually create jobs in America. Right. They assume more ten or less that one, one visa required. gets 10 jobs. Right. For that, that's, the, that's the idea that it's job creation. But at the same time, how much does it really impact the possibilities of small businesses in America hear from American citizens to grow and well, have a competitive Jose, edge. I mean, it doesn't because they're not keeping their money in these banks. They're taking it back. The majority are from China and they're taking it back to their home country. I mean, they're not necessarily keeping their money here. They're just investing and having this visa option. Um, I really think that it's going to add a lot to the immigration debate here in this country and just making people aware of the certain types of visas that they offer. We offer here and we'll fast track you if you're wealthy and you're willing to plunk down the cash. Anyway, we'd love to know what you think about the EB-5 program, what the State Department's doing. Should this be allowed? What should be the cap? Please log on, post your comments below about this story and about our visa program in general. While you're at it, please be sure and subscribe to our channel, The Lib TV 2 for more.